Hi guys! <laughs> Once you see the face and you hear the voice, you know it's your girl JJ Robbie. Anyways, I have something up my sleeves. And I just want to start off by saying, you know, forgive me for not having a schedule for when I post videos or for when I make vlogs. But life is busy, it gets overwhelming. And you know, it's just a lot, it just has been a lot. I wish I could post content like every day or once per week, but life not happen like that for me at least. And I know for the persons and my viewers watching the vlogs and my supporters, while you wanna see my face and hear the voice, life happens for you too. And sometimes you even say to somebody say, when I so watch a vlog, and they'd be like, I'm not gonna even lie, it has been a minute and Sometimes people sit down and they say to me, you know, I binge watch all your videos or You know, I watch them as they drop or maybe I start watching I got distracted when do something come back to your video. So the point is The content creator my which is myself is busy and two my viewers and supporters and subscribers are busy too So just bear with me. I promise by no one April or me, I'll try to start out by uploading once per week. Please don't hold me accountable to that, but I'm gonna try my utmost best to do that. When I lie, I'm just trying to click glass because I need to say I'm gonna do that video here. I actually been wanting to do this video, but now without further ado, let's get into the video. As you can see. Yeah, I'm sit down in a fit. I didn't want to do a prank. I didn't want to do a challenge. I didn't want to do a sit down. But then I just think to myself, say, you know, everybody busy. Who we can get to do a vlog with or to do a prank on? They are busy people too. So then it occurred to me I could do 10 facts, like 10 facts to get to know me. But then I increased it. So it's not 10 anymore. It's actually 15 facts to get to know me. Because I believe if you're a supporter on the channel, you need to know me a little bit more than you may know. Alright, so it's 15 facts. I wrote them each on, sorry, I wrote them on, what are they called? Index cards. And I wrote them on some old party posters that gone from what we are killed, fill up to fill up dead. So yeah, kind of have them index cards for a very long time, so... I'm gonna do 15 facts to know to get to know me or to know more about me and the fact is I don't want to do a question and answer because sometimes we don't want the content but you're not responding on time and two I don't really want the same questions coming back over are you dating anybody what are your beliefs on this what are your views on that not to say I won't do something like that one day but I don't think the channel is there as yet and I don't think you guys are as interactive as you should be because even I said guys give me more ideas nobody no DM me nobody no voice note me no one say anything so I have to be the one who constantly has to think about what is it that I'm going to do and what is it that I'm going to post so yeah that's that I'm gonna start with the 15 facts the kids are here, don't mind them, because Journey is in another video. Journey. Anyway, Journey is in the video. Her bow, her bow and her ear. So let's get into it. My first first thing to know about me, it says God. I wonder when I'm watching the video if it's going to flip. It should flip. So my first thing is God. Now, I love God. I absolutely love God. I just thank him for all that he has done for me and things he's still working on for me and you know what many of you may not know about my walk with God or about my spirituality but I am a Sabbath keeper I worship on Saturdays and it's absolutely wonderful it has been wonderful you know the walk with God is different for for everyone because my walk with God is a different 
is different from my friends walk with God or my family members walk with God or a stranger walk with God but the fact of the matter is we know that he's faithful we know that he's worthy to be praised and I just want to say you know that relationship that we have with our friends or partners or mom or dad we need to build that relationship with God because honestly if you don't try to have a relationship with him then I think you won't receive the goodness and all the things that he has in store for our lives so believe me when I say my love my God and big up God every time so spam the comment section below if you believe in a God if you believe that where you are today is because he has brought you to that point in your life and just to know that you will never leave us or forsake us so big up God that's all I have to say you know I start preach from a channel but for that I have to say thumbs up so that's my first thing that you need to know about me second thing I'm loving and I am caring a lot of persons may question this side to me and a lot of persons actually can relate to this side to me so simple put I treat you how you treat me if no and then it, it connects back to God because then you could say God says love your neighbors like you love yourself and you know you can turn the other cheek so basically even if somebody dish you dirt you're supposed to treat them good I'm not there as yet but that's also another thing that God is working on with me and through me I'm still trying to get that concept which I've not gotten I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you but I'm still working on things we're all under construction here so don't think that I'm a perfect individual none of us are perfect but anywho I'm loving and I'm very caring but that is when it's reciprocated because I'm not out here I give out free love I'm not out here I give out free care if you treat me like dirt I'm going to treat you like dirt if you give me love and you show me genuine love because you have love and you have people who are pretend for love you you see if it's genuine love that you give me and genuine care and interest you take into me believe me I'm going to want to go the extra mile I'm going to want to reciprocate and believe me, you probably give me three, I'm probably give you five because I summer stay. Once Mr. Say you truly check for me, you love me, and you're there for me, you don't gotta worry about me. I'm loyal as they come. Friendship, relationship, any ship, I'm loyal. I'm a loving, I'm a caring. Third point, which is so ironic, I am spiteful and revengeful. You believe that? You believe that this nice girl can be spiteful and revengeful? Well, let me explain that in a nutshell. My belief say if you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you back. And my belief say I'm going to hurt you even more than how you hurt me. Because for me, if I love you, I'm going to respect you. I'm not going to think for hurt you. Even though, to be honest, we all hurt each other knowingly and unknowingly. Because maybe I'm going to do something to you and I was not aware that I had done something to upset you and that's why communication is very important for me in all my relationships I encourage communication and I literally said it to Deidre this morning I said effective communication so you see once you communicate to me you say you know what you did this to me Jay because they call me Jay I'm gonna never like it it's for me to look back and say you know say I see where I went wrong but I'm very spiteful me spite you no play with me basically I don't have no time for foolishness. I hate foolishness. I have zero tolerance. Zero tolerance for foolishness. So you see, if you're going to come to me with foolishness, you don't want to know where you're going to get. Just leave it at that. Our next point to know about me, I love to save. Now, this point may seem very contradicting to the fact that I'm always spending when I always see me I pick up packages and I always see me I buy a lot of clothes when I see me spend money like crazy but the fact of the matter is people don't understand that for me to even spend that money where would the money come from obviously I would have to save it Two, obviously I would have to know that if I'm spending on something it's because I can afford to spend on it I'm not, I'm not, I'm not put on 
everybody put out foolish spending things where we don't necessarily need but we still buy it but nine or eight out of ten times i buy things because it's relevant to something that i need or something that i think i need because i kind of mix up needs and wants at times because i'm like you know so we need that shoes there we need that extra pair of shoes there I mean, no, it's that I need it's more I want because obviously I don't really need any clothes and I still buy clothes but the point is I love to save I bought my car the car I'm sitting in saving did that savings did that so I really do love to save I'm um, rude people another thing to know about me I hate rude people is if you're rude just just leave me alone because I have zero tolerance of foolishness and I snap easily. So if you're rude, I'm just gonna and then you're gonna you're gonna get me angry and you're gonna see what I'm talking about as I go down the line. But I just hate rude people and I hate people that try to cover up that they're rude, but you're really rude, but you wanna tell me that you're not rude or you wanna explain to somebody else that you're not rude just cut it out you know what you're doing we're all big people you know what you did you know what you're saying even children i hate ill-mannered children i hate rude children you see if your child rude as much as i'm the loving and caring auntie because i'm no mom as much as me i've journeyed them up and down i mean i like rude fitness so if you're picking a rude no care you're picking around me car if you're going to say discipline your child you might get upset you might lash out upon me, which in truth and in fact, I love kids. I love kids. That's another fact. Let's throw that in there. I love kids, but I hate when kids are rude, ill-mannered, disrespectful. <sighs> and then the parents who are... You know what gets me? What gets me is that the parent knows that their child is rude as dirt. And the fact that they try to come and discipline you who is trying to discipline the child about their behavior is if you do that to me believe you me but blind to your child because you can't walk come at me if I want him to do good to your child because one thing I'm gonna have a slap your child I'm trying not to slap people's children because I know how people are when they come on to their kids but you see if I talk to your child and you're going like you want to beat me feet and you're going like say you want to react to me in a negative way baby there's no more conversation to be had because i'm gonna leave you and your child where they need to be le where you need to be left so i hate rude children i hate rude people i just hate rude things all over done talking i love to talk and so i'm here making this vlog and so i started the channel Hence why every day my mommy would come to, well, when I was in high school, the only thing you could hear at my past high school, Big Up St. Jude's High School for Girls, Swantastic, Swans for Life, um, if any of my Swan sisters are watching this, when you know my love chat, from a taller time, my love chat, from me, I pick them, my love chat, and I remember when the teacher beat me with the side of the ruler, and I never did that talk that day, then my head did that hurt me people, but the woman beat me with the side of the ruler, I said, come here, I know I say, I did that chat down the place, guys, like somebody tell the teacher, say, yo, I pick them over music room, a mushroom room, the music room, and before she tried to investigate and find out if I was actually talking, she slapped me alone with the side of the ruler and everybody get it like this. I got it like that. Become a love talk. When my mother come and report there, your daughter can do her work, but she love to talk. And then by ex by that extent, she waste people time well fear work done. So a long time I love chat. So you don't have to tell me some love talk. I know some love, love, love talk. I know that. Anger issues. Um I have anger issues. To a certain extent, <laughs> let me just be transparent as possible. I have anger issues, and you know what? It goes back to foolish people and foolish decision, and it just goes back to me snapping when I see things just not going right as they should. And to be honest with you, I have anger issues. I know I have anger issues, but it's like sometimes I just don't know how people got that nerve. How did you get that nerve to say what you said to do what you had done? How did someone who bound with too much audacity? God know? Someone who don't bound with too much audacity. 
gonna say some things, gonna do some things, and then when people react, you know what I hate? I hate when people always look at how you respond and never to what they had said or to what they had done to allow you now to have to respond or for you now to say something in response to their behavior. And you see, because I am this loud person, my voice is very loud. So you see the fact that if you do something, I normally just so it's like people that be like, oh, I share the troublemaker, I share the problem. Baby, don't get it twisted. You're just another nigga on my hit list. I am Riri, you're the proud of me. Come in and know a lyric. Hey, another fact, I do not know lyrics to songs. I don't know a Jack and Dora. What else? I don't know. I don't know lyrics. I don't know, I know a few proverbs because them say I grow with my granny. But I don't know lyrics. I'm um, yeah, I have anger, but that's that. When people upset me, when people upset me, they see the truth. Yeah, you see, they just see me just look. <laughs> they just get crazy. But the thing though, me I can't show my anger this year. I'm gonna make none of uno get the best of me. I'm gonna make none of uno draw me out. You know that's I'm a love list of alkaline. There's a line in alkaline, so an alkaline say. Like, like, like alkaline would say someone alive sad and then him go say something like when you really check it out you know word arguing with you know word having a problem like basically alkaline is so smart bro he blows my mind every time so big up alkaline if you ever come across this vlog i'm a vendetta baby forever and will always be i love you alkaline even though I've never came to your concert, new rules, but I love you and I am watching you from the sidelines. I'm always watching you. My sister, the other day, him get signed with Gip. When him Gip Inchi, the brand the top brand there, him signed to it. I'm in love that for my artist. He's very low key. At first, Alkaline didn't come into the business and everybody usually compare him, compare and contrast. And Alkaline just hold him lean. Yeah, alkaline, pick up a nice clean step. Anyway, you're there. I got you. I got you. I want people watch a play recently and it name. What a play name I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna write it. I watch a play recently and the play is called. Am I kidding right now? I think I think when I get older up in age, my memory goes. Oh, Anansi and Pinocchio. It's a very good play, belly full of laughter, and there was a girl in there that said, I got you, I, I got you, Alkaline. Alright, next point, another fact I hate inconsiderate people. Alright, from a taller time, I love to go out. So people would have messaged me and say, I like how you go out and you never tell me. Or I like how you did do this and you never tell me. When you put on your clothes and I go somewhere, you ever consider say you could have tell me? When you make your plans, you ever consider say you tell me? But just get in consider people. When you people come to me with some bag of foolishness, it's like, don't do that. You see, if, you, you see, if you're not doing something, don't come to me about it. So, I hate in consider people. I hate people where they don't have no conscience. You see, when you don't have no conscience, just be careful and stay far from me. Because I like the one them without conscience. I do this and I do that, and you would even occur to you say, Although she always do for me, me can do back for you. Or if she do something for me today, I don't have to do it back today, no, but I can do it something for you next week. Get inconsiderate people. Another fact about me I love food. I'm a foodie. So much so, I've started the gym, and the gym went up in flames. But I love food. I'm always here, so I'm a big like oats, a big like barrel. And I just want to say I embrace my bigness. And when it is that you want to speak about my bigness, have I ever begged you a meal? Ask yourself that first. Have she ever begged me a meal? Has she ever asked me to borrow a clothes to bust out my clothes? I I do not like it when people try to tell me that you know she eat too much. Like, I mean, say, if you tell me, say, boy, girl, you love your food, you know, me I'm a vex. But some people literally take it too far. And I don't like when you take it too far because 
Allah will like some and if it is that I like food then that is that but that is one thing I'm a feisty another fact about me I am mad feisty when I said I'm feisty I'm as feisty as they come as in Jamaican language you would hear they say you rank you rank me rank <laughs> I am very much a feisty individual I've heard too that I love to give attitude to be honest if I've ever given you attitude knowingly or unknowingly I'm gonna really know about all of that but I have a face and you see the smiley face that I'm doing now because I'm sitting in the car when I'm outside on the road my face is all the key I hear it all the time I hear it say I look unapproachable I hear that my face is like before the term resting itch, itch face I don't want to call the word resting itch face I heard that I have a resting itch face and I'm I look like I'm mad at the world and I guess if I'm mad at the world you guys cause that because I am a very happy and a happy-go-lucky person but I try to not if you get to know me you know that I'm a happy person if you get to know me you know that I'm a really nice and a down-to-earth person if you get to know me that if you get the chance to know me because not everybody's gonna have that access to me adventures baby my love adventures the lady love to go out the lady love to explore new places a friend of mine Simal me I call it out Simal said this year is the year of traveling all over Jamaica to get to know the 14 parishes inside and out and I just want to say Mr. Williamson if you do not honor your promise to me because I'm saying promise is a comfort to a fool and I think you're fooling me but Simon I just want to say please to let us go on that adventure which you had mentioned I'm up for it 10 fingers in 10 toes down I love water places I just love I love trips I love trips and as I said I love going to new places clothes another fact about me my love clothes Sometimes I wish I could have just lock up my eyes. <laughs> you see how Queenie say, I wish I could have stopped Bali Bali. I tell myself, say, me, me wish, wish upon a star, wish upon a moon, wish upon the galaxy. Say, I never love this as much as I, I do. I love clothes. You know what I say, I buy clothes for all events and all seasons of the year before the year comes. You know, some have clothes when I put on and say, This is how I go wear for Christmas dinner from the month of January. You know, I say every year I plan my birthday and I love birthdays. I take my birthday serious. I take my birthday serious. I'm not play about my birthday. I'm not play about my birthday. I'm serious about my birthday. You have know, one girl one time. Them. She sit down and she watch the whole of my status for my birthday. And the girl now wish me happy birthday. You hear me now? She don't know. I say, I make sure she go and watch the phone. She don't know. I say, after the day, I have a black car. Which me never met the day done my black car because I take my birthday. If you ask me to watch out the whole of my status, I have my phone number. Obviously, you would have been close to me to get my phone number. And that's another thing. Don't give up my phone number by no means necessary. Ask me first before you do that. But anyway, yeah, my buy my buy clothes must start planning for my birthday. I'm a planner. I'm a little bit I'm a little miss planner. I'm a little miss planner. I plan things out in advance and i have something that i'm planning now and it's kind of stressful but i love planning money yeah. what my diamond say money yo money hey money money look there money money <laughs> money i wish this was money right now money 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 me love money the girl love our money that is why it goes back to me being a very hard working person. I always I work hard, but I always tell myself I have to make it out in my life. Because you see that little luxury over there. You see that vacation over there. You see that adventure over there. We just want to do it all. We want to go to the places there, but we want to go. We want to just have money. We just like money. And people love say, it's basically them I try to tell you some biblical reasons say God say enough for rich or whatever. I lie, don't tell no lie for my God. My God never said that. My God say the love for money. And even though I just kind of contradicted myself, but it's to the to the extent that 
if you treat people poorly when you have money if you look down for people when you have money so it is based on your behavior with money but me love money and it's not about you cannot have money it's just to know how to deal with your money when you have it so it's like as them say hold on so like people would say when you hear people uh, treat somebody like a look down from people oh me now look me now a friend that person they are oh me now a talk to that person because that person don't have no money nothing like that you're the next phone I ring hold on guys anyways that's Mr. Baker hope him don't call back because I'm almost finished my love arms out can this be the last one all right let, let, let's do this before this all right i'm a very disciplined and i'm a principal person although my d never write good um i'm very disciplined i'm very focused i'm very hard working very persistent as my friends would tell you once she says she's gonna do something she's gonna do it once she put her mind to something she's gonna get it done period before i'm called back my love arms out last one this me love arms out as much as myself and I like foolishness my little bit and love foolishness in a one good way foolishness like I'm a jovial person I'm a happy person what you see is what you get so basically my like when you come around me you, people always say to me I love your personality I love your energy I literally like people say I have a pull factor so literally people love my energy and you know what for me the same is true i'll not know you and i'll go somewhere and i strike up a conversation as soon as i said the two lines to you them say no so that girl they're trouble are you know so that girl they're funny that's just who i am as a person and my love arms out so you see my friend them from the dolls to the to the dance them funny most of my friends that i have they're funny people they are funny people i am in a family where most of my family members are crazy funny they're mad funny so i am just gonna say it is inevitable that I'm just funny if me I date you oh this was a question on the radio it was like would you prefer to date someone with a great personality but them ugly art for look fun close your eye when you see the person can't sleep beside you don't want to wake up to see you but the point is do you prefer an ugly an ugly person with a great personality or a pretty person and some person with a low down dirty personality let me tell you this once your personality right everything is good on me and of course you know you have other attributes and other qualities that a person needs to have to make a good partner or to make a good friend but when i look on people looks for safe me can be friend with them or me can date them looks come and looks go looks come and looks go remember me to tell you that from my channel a lot of things can change in life where looks are concerned but you see personality baby personality and energy that never lie that never lie you see the personality with the per and then yes people can change their personality but nine out of ten times a person will go back to who they were and a person cannot change unless they want to change you can make a person change so just cut that out can't make a person change unless they want to change but i honestly i'm gonna say i prefer a person with a good personality and if me you know say me i take up a man and i can fix him up to my liking i remember say me say creative you know another another fact about me i'm very creative and me can fix him up to how me want him in terms of the physical i will do it but the personality you gotta come with something you gotta be funny you gotta understand my jokes you get, you know, you know. Let's have a thank God for Mr. Baker. He he gets me. So, to close out the video, this is Jet. Do the flip. Do the flip. Do the flip. <laughs> this is Justin. So they are twins. They are twin boys, as you can see, twin boys. And this is Miss Jalea Roca. Jalea, ja, ja, Jalea Roca. <laughs> This is my baby in her one piece romper and she's just having her time of her life. She's pretty, she's pretty like mommy. And she got sass and attitude like mommy. And without further ado, this is my oldest baby. That's she's what, two? 
journey or two a journey or two this is my oldest baby journey and i just want to say i got four kids life ain't easy i just i gotta have the money because i need to support these kids here and we're finally about to get food i'm gonna go on the road and get some kfc oh could i forget that fact you know seven are good it's about 20 fat no or 100 fat i love kfc i love kfc i love chocolate I love one chocolate called Ferrero Ratio. Ferrero, that one day. I love Catch. I love Bobby. I love Hershey's. I love. I love this. What is this called? Hold on. That one here. I love Kit Kat. Yeah. I love chocolate. I love fruits and nuts. I tell you, I love food. But I love KFC with a different love. And everybody knows said Jamaica KFC. It's shot. It's shot. It's a, 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 a. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I love arms house. We tell them that I love arms house. I'm loud. So probably that volume me a buck to capacity. You probably don't have to turn up on the device when you listen to me. Come in on the car. I'm just have a, you have to know how to have fun, people. You have to know how to have fun. And you have to know how to stay by yourself. People learn to stay by yourself. And everybody laugh with you, mean you well. And every skin teeth. I, I, what do you say? And every skin teeth, I laughed or whatever. And everybody where you see come around, you have good intentions. So learn to stay by yourself. That's another fact about me. I learn and I have learned how to be by myself. As much as I appear to be a friendly person, because Baker loves say, but can't take away friendly. I'm friendly, but I know everybody me say in my so called contacts or in my circle are friends. I'm very selective because sometimes people like to get close to you to hurt you to arm you to carry back your business to the enemy and i just have to say i'm friendly but i'm not friend of people so if you are my friend and you have a other fact about me that you want to mention in the comments you can go ahead if you agree with the video give it a thumbs up a like share comment and subscribe and big up on a nice clean self i'm out